Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Horace and you're watching Possible Now. So guys, today I'm going to guide you about the best Fortnite settings for low and PC chapter 6 season 2. And these settings will boost your FPS in your game and you can play your game without any lag freezing or stuttering kind of an issue. Doesn't matter if you're using low and PC or a high and PC. This video is going to be really interesting guys. So just watch the video till the end and if you name this channel, kindly like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more content and without any waste of time, let's start the video. So guys, first of all, one of the most important settings here is where many people make mistakes uh, is the rendering mode. So if you're using Intel HD graphics or low and PC uh, like Nvidia card, make sure to select the performance mode. On the other hand, if you're using AMD integrated graphics or an AMD card, uh, DX12 works much better. And uh, after that guys, the second thing you should do is cap your FPS at a realistic level. If you know your PC can handle around 100 FPS, cap it at 144 or 160 FPS. This helps maintain stability and prevents unnecessary strain on your system. And uh, after that for graphic settings, you can copy mine. I mostly uh, play on low and setting for uh, a huge FPS boost in my game. So I have found these to be most effective for low end systems and set the upscale to 7 as it looks like the best in my opinion. Additionally, I don't keep my 3D resolution at 100% uh, because I have adjusted it in my config file, uh, which I'll show you how to access in a moment. And uh, for the rest of the settings, uh, make sure to set everything to the lowest possible options uh, as i said before also disable auto download high uh, resolution texture to receive uh, the resources in the epic games launcher and uh, now i have prepared a fully optimized game user settings.ina file with the recommended resolution and 3d resolution already applied to get this file click the uh, link in the description or you can um, uh, watch the video to uh, manually auto optimize your config file so what you're going to do is locate the folder open the windows search bar and type in percentage local app data percentage and press enter now navigate to the game uh, fortnite game go to save go to config and go to windows client and uh, in this folder uh, delete your current game user setting.inf file and repair replace it with the one i provided or you can uh, watch the video to manually uh, optimize your game user settings here so guys after that the next thing is we need to free our cpu space uh, so for this you need to open your task manager and uh, check your cpu space from the from performance tab because mostly uh, fortnite is uh, mostly based on your cpu so that's why you need to free your cpu space and check uh, any of the uh, program or file or application that takes your CPU memory uh, find these kind of uh, files and simply right click on it and end task these kind of applications my CPU space is already free so I don't need this but in case you need uh, uh, you, you see your CPU space is uh, above the 50% then you uh, find uh, like uh, these kind of software that takes your CPU memory and uh, once it's done the next thing is we need to close the background applications so what we're gonna do is uh, in the research bar here we need to type here settings and uh, in here you need to go to the privacy section and uh, in general there are four options you see here uh, turn off all of them one by one and down below go to your background apps and turn off all the background apps running in the background my background apps are already, already turned off so I don't need this so turn back and move to the gaming session uh, section and uh, here you need to turn off the game bar first and uh, also turn off the capture settings and only and only turn on the game mode if you have a low end PC definitely and only enable the uh, game mode and in the graphic settings you need to add the add your fortnite game here like click to browse and uh, simply add the fortnite client uh, win64 shipping file uh, it's already added click to your game uh, click option and here you need to set on high performance click to save that's it now get back close this and now we need to move the uh, next step and uh, now delete some junk or bad files in your system so uh, press window key plus r and here you need to type some commands like the first one is prefetch p r e f e t c h it's the first command 
click to OK, Control A, select all and delete all of these bad files in your system. Skip the step. Again, uh, one more time, press Window key plus R and this time we need to type the second command like percentage TEMP, again percentage. Press OK, Control A, select all and delete these files also. Skip the step, again skip the step. Don't worry, these all are like unnecessary or junk files and uh, in the end you need to uh, remove all the files from the recycle bin also. And uh, after that guys, the next thing is we need to install the latest DirectX and Visual Retribution files in our system. So what we're gonna do is um, visit the official website of DirectX and uh, download the latest DirectX, DirectX version. Uh, and once you download it, double click on setup, accept the album and click to next, install the bin bar, it's optional so it's up to you. And uh, after some minutes it's done, click to finish and now move to the visual retribution files in the system. So uh, visit the official website and download all the visual files in your PC. So here is the batch file, click on it and just simply you need to install all the visual files in your system. You just need to simply click to yes, click to OK and rather of the steps it will automatically perform. Don't worry these all are safe files. Click to yes, click to OK. And after few minutes guys, it's done. Now guys the pack steps are complete and uh, in the end you need to simply restart your system. And before launch your game guys you need to just one more time open your task manager and check your CPU space from here and uh, if any of the recording software or like Adobe Photoshop kind of uh, applications uh, takes your CPU memory then simply right click on it and end task these kind of applications and, uh, and uh, once you free your CPU space here close the task manager and now you're ready to launch your game and now you can play your game without any lag freezing or stuttering kind of an issue and you will see a huge fps boost difference in your game now and uh, if you found this video helpful guys kindly like this video share to your friends and subscribe to the channel for more content and uh, we will meet in the next one until then peace out